Now, in the final 10 minutes of the programme, um, we're going to do some exercise. Uh, well, I say we, actually I'm not, but almost everybody else in the room, in the room is. Um, a new study published by scientists here in the UK this week suggests that the best gym exercises to lower blood pressure are isometric ones. Now, these are the ones where you stay still in order to build strength, like the plank or the wall squat. Uh, now, you may have heard of aerobic, uh, aerobic exercises that get your body moving and uh, make you run short of breath. Jogging, bike exercises, for example, they're also good. But isometric exercises, we're told, are even better for lowering blood pressure, especially for anyone over the age of 40. Well, both Katia and Sune are going to volunteer to do um, a, a plank and a wall squat in a moment. Uh, and we've got two guests to help us through this as well. Jamie Edwards, I'm going to talk to you first, who's a researcher at Canterbury Christchurch University involved in the study. Jamie, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us about these findings and what, what they represent. Yes, yeah, so, so they're interesting findings, of course. A surprise to a lot of people. It's, it's on the back of a literature that's been building quietly in the background for probably the last two decades or so. Um, and really now this, this kind of meta-analysis where we pulled all the data together, <coughs> encapsulates the findings comparatively against other modes that we, we already use in day-to-day. -day. So it doesn't mean we should stop running and cycling. It's just that we should add these to our repertoire. Yeah, and that's a really important point is that um, these findings do not mean that isometrics is now a substitute for these modes. We know traditional aerobic training like your jogging and running, your strength training like your weightlifting, they provide independent physiological benefits that are important for health. And so perhaps it's about how isometric comes in as complementary to these. Uh, well, sitting next to you is uh, London-based gym instructor, expert in calisthenetics, uh, Rahel Ild, who's also known by her professional name, Rahel the Amazon. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, calisthenetics is apparently all about training the muscle groups that help us stand, which means you know all about planks I do, I and do. wall squats. <laughs> oh, good. We've got the right guest. That's <laughs> Does this research make sense to you? Absolutely. It's the non-lengthening, non-strength, um, non-lengthening or shortening of the muscles, just holding the resistance against that. I think just provides the strength for longevity as well. Just everyday, everyday strength. There's no need to lift super heavy weights to be healthy. Just like the science explains, the result that it has on it that the lowest blood pressure from holding the tension in the body, what it does to the aerobic and the anaerobic. Um, energy systems. I'm going to get you to give a bit of guidance to what my two guests have very willingly, off, I think willingly, um, <laughs> offered to do. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not sure how much choice you did have, but you're, you've got to the point now where there's, there's, there's no return. Embarrassing. Um, Katia, yeah. uh, you're going to help us first, I think, aren't you, with a wall squat. Yeah. I'm looking um, forward to that. So <laughs> if you um, remove your headphones and walk across to the part of the studio, um, where this is all going to be looked after. Um, so if you take up your position and then, Rahel, you can perhaps tell us okay, um, sure. what's going on. OK, so we're going to get you to sit sort of with a 90 degree angle okay. in your knees. So take your feet about 60 centimetres, 50, 60 centimetres away from the wall and then slide down the wall with your back resting against it. So lean into the wall okay, and then bend your knees and come down as if you're sitting on an imaginary chair. There we go. Mm -hmm. So 90 degrees, lean into the wall. Uh, push your feet down, maybe bring your feet just a tad further away. So there's an imaginary chair that you're sitting on and you're trying to create tension throughout your body. Yeah. This means you tuck your pelvis under, mm -hmm. your ribs are tucked, yeah. shoulders are back and you can look that way. Okay. <laughs> and then from there we try to hold this. Uh, with beginners we would hold it for a minimum of 15 seconds because sometimes okay. they're just not used to holding it for longer. But like the science says, we would like to create and hold that tension for about a minute or two at okay. a time. So this is something that a person needs to build up the strength. The first thing that happens usually is that the anterior pelvic tilt kicks in. We start sort of leaning away yeah. from the wall, trying to get a little <laughs> bit more comfortable. Uh, so try to resist the urge to do that and keep that PPT. So Posterior sure. pelvic tilt. Mm. Do you feel any kind of tension already, sort of building up in the body, or are you I fairly do, comfortable? I do. Yes, more more in my thighs though, in my legs. I would say. True. So let's clench your buttocks as well, mm -hmm. and then essentially that's what it is. So it feels fairly. It's fairly simple. Yeah. But sometimes we're just not used to sitting still. 
that's what it usually happens. So it's the discomfort that builds up that makes people usually want to mm. tap out of the exercise. I feel like everyone's looking at Katya. It's so mm. Well, I was, I was just thinking how relaxed you look, Katya, while you you're do. doing it. You it looks do. well, entirely my, effortless. My legs starting, are starting to shake a bit, but okay. I'm still holding it. That's very good. So what I would do with my clients would that if you are starting to get really uncomfortable, I'd ask you to come up just a tad because we're still trying to maintain really good form and posture. And for beginners, like I said, we would start with 15 seconds, 30, uh, 45, and it builds up that strength actually mm -hmm. that comes, that isometric strength uh, accumulates quite fast within sessions, not weeks and months. Yeah. Um, Do you reckon you can hold it for another 10 uh, seconds or are you pretty much near the end there? 10 seconds would be Okay, well, so we've got... I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna spare you a further 10 seconds actually. Okay, Katia. and come out of it. Um, <laughs> because I, uh, just Thank simply so for much. time reasons, because I know that we're supposed to do a minute of plan, can't right. we? Right, yes. Uh, Sune, you're on. Mm. Um, oh, right. so, so Rahel ma uh, maintains her position. Okay. Katia resumes her seat, looking very Thank refreshed, so I might add. Um, so, Sune. I do feel refreshed. So, we're going to get you down in, on your forearms. And uh, shoulders over elbows is the first point, but we don't want to simply drop into position. So, we want to create tension throughout the body. Uh, meaning, again, posterior pelvic tilt means that you're now pushing arms into the floor, trying to protract your shoulder blades. It means that the ground is just going further and further away from you. There's also tension in your legs, and you're pushing your toes into the floor. So tension from head to toe. Uh, common mistakes that sometimes get made is that people tend to look really far ahead so they're straining the back of the neck. That is completely unnecessary. Or when we start to get tired, the knees bend, we slump, and we simply sort of hold a sort of a, a floppy, floppy plank. So the idea is... is it is not at all, actually. Not at this all. is a no, beautiful plank. <clears throat> I can see your back <laughs> muscles are engaged, your leg muscles are engaged. There is nice alignment. So from the shoulder, through the hip, to the knees and ankles, it is a beautiful straight line. And we think about that hollow core. So we don't want to be rigid and usually girls can stick their bum out because it does make them look <laughs> bum a little bit better. So that is something that we want to avoid. In a plank, we don't have to have a beautiful bum. Tucked under is what we're after here. Oh, well, I think your minute's up. That's, I think it's fantastic. Minute? Yes, That's it very is a minute. Yeah, very good. Very good. <laughs> uh, by all means, come back and resume your seat. You both did very well. <laughs> Thank um, you so much. Thank you, for the <laughs> Thank you Sune. Thank you for um, almost volunteering to do that. Um, I mean, Katty, you do regular exercise anyway, don't you? You both do, I think, don't you? Yes, yeah, I do. Um, uh, probably isometric exercises wouldn't be my favorite one. So I do prefer oh. to get a bit of, you know, more movement. It just feels a bit easier. But I can, you know, my muscles feel now great after doing the squat. So I think I might try to incorporate at least these you have a convert, into my routine. It would yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so you, know, you, you exercise regularly as well, don't you? Yes. And my plank also, I need to hear... Thank my wife, who is a former yoga instructor, so ah, yoga teacher. That's excellent technique. So that's where it comes from. I didn't come up with this myself. <laughs> Get that very quiet. Um, we've literally got sort of 30 seconds or so left. Thank you so much for coming on the programme. Thank you uh, very Rahul, much. For your guidance. Uh, Jamie, for your expertise as well. And uh, now everybody should do these a little more often is what, Absolutely. what we're now advocating. <laughs> thank you both. Thank Just time you. for me to say thank you to you, Sune, for your company throughout the programme. You're welcome. Thank and you. And to you, Katia. Thank you. Go off and do your wall squat um, for the rest of the day. This programme back at the same time uh, tomorrow. You're listening to the BBC World Service. This is Weekend. And the latest news headlines are coming up in just over a minute's time. <laughs>